rolling. All right, guys. Uh, we're here at Drinking Out Loud. Alright guys, welcome to Drinking Out Loud. So today I'm here with Mr. Casey Chu. What's up? Uh, we're going to talk about an initiative that uh, he's starting. So, fire away. So we are doing a Dead Singapore Beer Project. So it's a grassroots pro beer project that looks at um, understanding Singapore beer preferences, the habits, the drinking consumption patterns. But we don't really know what a Singaporean beer entails. It could be um, made in Singapore. It could be made by a Singaporean, it could be or made for Singaporeans. We actually went from the ground up and then to start interviewing and doing focus groups with people. Then we will have uh, our home brewers in Singapore craft the recipes and scale this up commercially to let everybody try. So it's going to be a commercially available product that you can find at a few craft beer bars in Singapore. Alright, pretty straightforward and simple idea, but I think it's a lot of things that you got to do. What are the results that you think that? You want to get out of this project or initiative? So uh, ideally, what I want really is this is the first study in Singapore that uh, really looks at beer preferences. Companies may have run it before, but this is the first time uh, people are looking at uh, specifically what our beers do people drink, how they drink it. All this will be documented and put onto the website. It's all open source. So there will be storytelling for each beers, and beers will be brewed, and, uh, and people will try it. So the reception shots and uh, how they how we take towards the beers that I made for them. Will be, will be good as well to know. But dude, let's be realistic here. You talk about Hawker Centre, about most places here. Yeah. It's commercial beers like your yeah. Tiger Beer and the Heinekens or the Cow's Beer, right? Yeah. Dude, it's a, it's a huge task to kind of like convert people to kind of like drink the Singapore beer or Singaporean beer. So, a big challenge. It is. I mean, if you talk about conversion, but that's not the, the end goal of this project. So the end goal of this project really is to, to understand what, how people drink, what people drink and make a beer out of it. It's to give awareness that there is other beers or there are other beers out there for us to try. And this can be locally brewed. So give our microbreweries a chance and give other beer stuff a chance. I mean, I'm not saying that drinking our feline branded beers are bad. Go ahead and drink it because it's financially viable. If you want to try something else, there are good beers out there and give them a shot. So it's more like learning about. Beers. So you're going to conduct some research, do a couple of interviews, yep. formulate the, the recipe for the beer with the home brewers, with the home brewers, brew the beer yep. and then after that you will push it out yep. and then you will let people review the beer, ask them what they think about the beer. Yep. How do you get people's opinion about this beer? We will be on the ground to, to make, do like a video reception, I'll buy you a beer, try it. Let me know what you think. There are untapped, you know, there are many ways to source for information. Um, there will be online uh, platforms such as Facebook, Instagram. I'm sure I'll get a, get a comment here and there. Okay, you do know that there's a lot of local breweries, right? There are a lot of uh, local breweries. People like uh, Ryan Pine, Blue Lander. What is the difference from all these breweries? I really want to support them. So the recipes that we crafted will be put online. It's not a competition or anything. More like I'm just helping them understand or helping everybody understand. Uh, what are the preferences of Singapore beer? And brew a beer, and then if it's good traction, hey, this is good result, this recipe works in Singapore. If they want to take it up, tweak it a little bit, go ahead. I think we are very supportive of this initiative. Thank you. All right, so we hope that uh, it will be successful. Uh, this, this whole project will take about three months. We can start seeing our beers during Beer Fest Asia, and then, uh, and then the campaign will roll out in uh, mid-September to November. Okay. Drinking Out Loud will be uh, kind of like documenting some of the, the stages of this project, this initiative. Yep. So uh, until the next episode, the next update, cheers man. Cheers.